Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Well, hello, everybody. I'm Pastor Sean, and I have your word for the day. Today, we're in James uh, 1, 16 through 18. And this passage is more of like a rest uh, amidst a bunch of rebuke and correction and awesome teaching. And uh, he just kind of throws it in the middle, James, that is, throws it in the middle of the text. And it feels like it's meant to give us a little bit of reprieve in a moment of just breath. And uh, why don't we take a minute to read it right now. James 1, 16 through 18 says this, So don't be misled, my dear brothers and sisters. Whatever is good and perfect comes down to us from God our Father, who created all lights in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. He chose to give birth to us by giving us His true word. And we, out of all creation, became His prized possession. You see, this scripture is a reminder in the middle of a bunch of to-dos and a bunch of corrections and a bunch of works that follow our faith, that it is our faith in God that gets these things done. Uh, let's, let's reread some of that scripture. So don't be misled, my dear brothers and sisters. Whatever is good and perfect come down to us from God our Father. This is a reminder that we can't do good without Him. And if we try, then we're just fooling ourselves. In fact, we're probably putting God in a place He shouldn't be in our lives and putting ourselves in a place we shouldn't be either. And then the word says, uh, uh, whatever is good and perfect comes down to us from God our Father who created all lights in heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. He's also trustable. You see, God wants us to know that He is the person that we can put all of our faith in and not have to worry. Uh, we're meant to lean on Him and not ourselves. His understanding and not our own because it's Him who saves us and it's through Him that we get all these good works done that James is talking to us about. And then verse 18, He chose to give birth to us by giving us His true word and we out of all creation became His prized possession. You see, this is, this is the gospel is that He sent the word, His Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us on the cross, to take all of our sins from us. This is the gospel. This is the gospel power that fuels all of these good works that James is talking about. We should not be fooled into thinking that we can do these things alone, but relying on the gospel is exactly what gets this done. And so here's my challenge to you is, is this passage I think is meant to be a minute of rest and breath, like I said, so, so take a minute and just think about how Jesus dying on the cross for you is what fuels everything good in your life. That Jesus dying on the cross for you is what gets you the opportunity to do good in this world. It is not because we are good enough. It is not because we are good looking. It's not because we are in a good community, a good church, anything like that. It is because the Lord Jesus Christ went to the cross and died for us. And I pray that you take a minute and remind yourself of that. So after this is done, take a minute and pray, take a minute in silence, whatever you got to do, and just remember that the gospel is what get the, gets the good works done in our lives. Love you a lot, Calvary. Have a good one.